Good morning students. Thank you very much students for clicking on my video. I am your Nagini ma'am chemistry mentor. In today's section I am going to discuss about the shapes of orbital students. Uh, from lessons uh, first PUC students 11th class atomic structure lesson. Okay number shapes of orbitals I am going to discuss now. S orbital shape of S orbital. So first of all S orbital I am going to take S orbital. Okay, S orbital shape students. What is S orbital shape students? S orbital shape is here if I take S subshell students. In S subshell only one orbital will be there. Only one orbital. What is its shape students? Its shape is spherical shape. What is its shape? Spherical shape. Okay, spherical shape students. Now see, I am taking X axis, Y axis and Z axis. This is the x axis okay this is y axis and this one is z axis this is x axis y axis and this one is z axis okay now what is the spherical shape students spherical shape is this one Okay, so this is the shape of S orbital students. Which shape? No, no, it is the shape is spherical shape. Understand me? So spherical shape students, S orbital shape is uh, spherical. Okay, in exception only one orbital will be there. So its shape is spherical shape. Clear this students? This is S orbital shape understanding so this is the s orbital shape nana now coming to the p orbital shapes now see students p orbital now i'm taking the p orbital students here p subshell what is the p orbital shape dumbbell shape okay now in p subshell actually how many orbitals will be there students now i'm taking the p orbital shape okay p orbital what is its shape students p orbital shape is what actually in p subshell how many orbitals will be there three orbitals will be there correct this is the p subshell in p subshell three orbitals will be there these are named as px py pz correct this is which one students this is px this is py this is pz are you clear? Three orbitals will be there in P subshell. First one Px, Py, Pz. Are you clear? Now I'm going to discuss about the Px, Py, Pz orbital structure students. So what is the P orbital shape? No, no. P orbital shape is dumbbell shape students. What is the P orbital shape? Dumbbell. Shape. Dumbbell shape clear dumbbell shape students now see p orbital shapes now i'm going to discuss px py pz orbitals shapes now i'm going to discuss you students listen carefully so this is the px this is x axis students first i'm going to discuss about px okay na? px orbital shape okay px px orbital shape clear px orbital shape no, no. now see i am taking x y z axis students here px so this is x axis this is x axis students as it is this one is y axis and this one is z axis clear three cartesian axis i'm taking x y z axis students p x orbital shape its shape is what students dumbbell shape how it is dumbbell shape students this is the dumbbell shape are you clear this is the dumbbell shape students now p x orbital means along x axis dumbbell shape will be there so along x axis take none no, this is x axis along x axis dumbbell shape so this is the this one is px orbital shape are you clear so this is the px orbital shape students this is the dumbbell shape are you understanding so this is the px orbital shape along x axis you have to take the dumbbell okay so this is the px orbital shape now i am going to discuss about the py orbital shape now see nana py orbital shape py orbital 
PY orbital shape. What is P orbital shape? Dumbbell. PX. PX is nothing but along x axis dumbbell shape. PY is nothing but along y axis dumbbell shape. PZ is nothing but along z axis dumbbell shape. You have to take the only orbital shapes. Okay, now, now PY orbitals I am taking. So here how to take see here students. I am taking this is the x axis. Okay, this is x axis students. Now this one is y axis okay and this one is z axis clear this one three cartesian axis along y orbit y axis dumbbell shape will be there this is the y axis and here dumbbell shape will be there students this is the dumbbell shape see here along y axis you have to take the dumbbell shape okay so this is the dumbbell shape so here just you shade it this one this is along y axis are you clear so along y axis this is the dumbbell shape clear this is the p y orbital shape understanding so this is the p y orbital shape understood amma now see students p z orbital shape what is the p z p z orbital shape okay means along z axis Mm, dumbbell shape will be there clear this one now see nana pz orbital now take again x axis y axis z axis this is x axis this one y axis and this one z axis clear along z axis pz kada along z axis there is a dumbbell shape so that's why here dumbbell shape is this one along z axis along z axis dumbbell shape will be there students this one is uh, pz orbital shape understanding so this is the uh, pz orbital shape clear so this one pz orbital shape students dumbbell shape understanding so along z axis you have to take just same shape students just along x axis you have to take px along y axis you have to take py along z axis that is along z axis that is a pz orbital shape because in the p subshell how many orbitals are the three are there px py pz shape is dumbbell shape clear this one this is the which shape students this one is dumbbell shape are you clear so this one is a dumbbell shape clear so right this is about the p orbital shape students now i'm going to discuss about the uh, d orbital shapes okay now discuss d orbital shapes See, Nana, D orbitals. So, in D orbitals, so D, D orbital shape is which one students actually? D orbital. D orbital shape is double dumbbell students. What is D orbital shape, Nana? Its shape is uh, double dumbbell. Clear? Its shape is double dumbbell. Now, that what is the shape students? Double dumbbell is nothing but like this okay this is the double dumbbell shape are you clear so this is the double dumbbell shape students understanding so this is the double dumbbell clear double dumbbell shape now see students in d subshell actually how many orbitals will be there this is the d subshell total five orbitals will be there one two three four five clear total five orbitals will be there this is the d subshell in d subshell five orbitals will be there that five orbitals names are this is d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square are you clear so these are the names of these orbital students d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square okay now i'm going to discuss about one by one students first d x y so first one d x y shape dxy orbital shape students so what is the dxy orbital shape double dumbbell kada so dxy is nothing but along x axis y axis you have to take xy kada so xy is nothing but 
along x axis y axis you have to take the double dumbbell shape are you clear so now i am taking only x axis y axis students see here this is x axis okay this is x axis this is y axis clear x axis y axis x y means here in between the cartesian axis you have to take the double dumb dumbbell shape not along the axis in case of prp tals we are taking along the axis but here in the case of drp tals you have to take uh, in between the cartesian axis you have to take the double dumbbell shapes that means the uh, lobes what we will call these are calling as lobes okay namma we will call it as lobes students what we will call lobes lobes okay so lobes so this we have to take in between the cartesian axis okay so what is the structure students d x y shape is double dumbbell shape like this in between the cartesian axis in between the cartesian axis are you clear just you have to take x and y okay yes this is the d x y shape students d x y are you clear so this is the d x y shape okay namma so these these are d x y shape students d x y next one i'm going to discuss about d y z second one second d y z now see students d y z shape d y z means what axis you have to take students only y axis z axis you have to take just you change the axis that much only same structure structure is same but axis you have to change it okay now y z axis now see students suppose i am taking this is the y axis this is the y axis and this one is z axis clear because here what are there y z axis kada y z so that's i am taking y z axis i am taking now the same structure students that is double dumbbell shape in between the cartesian axis so that means like this you will get okay so this is the uh, d a y z students are you clear d uh, y d y z clear students the same structure but we are changing just axis y z this is x y are you clear now i am going to discuss third one d z x so what is the d z x orbital shape see here d x d z x shape now what is d z x that means what axis are there x axis z axis so that's why i am taking here x axis this one x axis this one i am taking as z axis okay madam like this na z axis no we can take any type students this is x axis just this one i am considering as z axis okay now see z axis what is the structure students z axis z axis the uh, double dumbbell na so this also double dumbbell shape okay once you observe students three are same only but only axis changed that much only are you clear so only axis we change okay so this is the d uh, z x double dumbbell shape are you clear now i am going to discuss about fourth one d x square minus y square because total five orbitals are there so that's a fourth orbital is d x square minus y square so that structure i am going to discuss now see students d x square minus y square structure shape d x square minus y square that means which axis are there here x axis so y axis so that's why i am taking here only x and y axis i am taking okay see here this is the x axis this one is y axis now d x square minus y square is nothing but here what are the double dumbbell shapes shape is there that lobes you have to take along the cartesian axis here in between the cartesian axis we are taking the lobes okay now here along the cartesian axis you have to take students that much only see here d x square minus y square along x axis okay along y axis you have to take that much only this is the d x square minus y square shape are you clear this is d x square minus y square uh, double dumbbell shape are you clear 
this is the double dumbbell shape understanding na na this is dx square minus y square shape now last shape is which one dz square shape correct dz square shape it is also double dumbbell shape now only z axis is there here now i'm taking as usual x y z axis see here how i'm taking this is x axis this one y axis okay sorry this one i'm taking as z axis students and this one is y axis okay d is z square along z axis i am taking the along z axis i am taking the double dumbbell now see students this shape is d z square now so that's why its shape is like this students see here its shape along z axis take one dumbbell another one is see here like this you have to take here one spear you have to take students like this okay so like this you have to take students this is the structure of dz square okay Nama, see here this is which shape students dz square shape okay now so this is the dz square shape students this one it is dz square shape are you understanding so this is the this is double dumbbell one dumbbell shape is like this another one dumbbell shape is just you push like this then you will get the spear type okay now so like this you have to take one spear students this is a dz square shape are you clear students so these are the shapes of dz square uh, d d orbital shape students its shape is double dumbbell okay now this shape is double dumbbell total in d subshell five orbitals are there dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square dz square okay now a very easy structure students and also important topic this shapes of orbitals okay i hope you like this video students if you like this video uh, please like share comment and subscribe my channel nana thank you very much students